Hey everybody, Jason O'Dell here, and today I've got my Phantom 2 Vision from DJI quadcopter with a camera, and I've just done a little mod on it here. Um, this was the stock uh, camera that I got uh, back in um, December, and I just received my Rotor Pixel 2 axis gimbal. And uh, I got this, um, I had ordered it a few months ago. They were um, uh, a small company, they just started up, they made a custom product. Now, um, for those of you not familiar with these little uh, quadcopters, they're very cool. Um, they have a, a several thousand foot range, you fly them like a remote controlled aircraft. They've got GPS built in, pretty nice stuff. Um, they hold position when you let go of the sticks. And the whole, it, the whole thing is beamed back via Wi-Fi from this little transmitter here inside the, um, the, the uh, copter to your smartphones. I've got an iPhone, it also works on Android devices, and you can watch what you're doing as you're flying around the neighborhood and, and um, you know, chase your, your neighbor's dogs. No, I don't recommend that. Anyway, um, the one sort of uh, downfall of the Phantom 2, if you will, the Phantom 2 Vision, was that it only had a what's called a gimbal, a, a single servo tilt axis gimbal, so that when you uh, move the camera, uh, you could tilt it down, tilt it up, but you couldn't uh, compensate for uh, pitch or roll. And what that meant was that uh, if you had the the camera uh, and you were looking at something holding steady, and there was a wind blowing. The, the entire uh, quadcopter would be slightly tilted and you get on level horizons. It also makes the video, if you capture video, which is the other fun thing about this, um, a little bit uh, shaky because you're not able to stabilize um, in, that, in that direction. So this, this is a third-party gimbal made by a company called Rotor Pixel, uh, based out of Toronto, Canada. Um, and they're, they're shipping these out if you've got a, a Phantom 2 Vision. Um, and the whole purpose of these is, is to stabilize your camera in multiple axes. So this is a two-axis uh, gimbal. Um, and I should point out that DJI just came out with a, a three-axis version of the Phantom Vision. They call it the Vision Plus. And so if you go out there now and you want to buy that, that model will already have a gimbal built in. But for those of us who purchased this as a standalone option, we didn't have the two-axis gimbal. So I've turned on, I've powered on Hobbs here. This is my Phantom 2 Vision. And I wanted you to take a look at what happens when I uh, hold him here. Um, so I've powered on the, the camera and the, the, the gimbal connects. And as you can see, when I turn this, the camera holds stable. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start recording video uh, from the camera. See, I can wave to myself and uh, it'll come in there. And so when you're flying around, in this case in my living room, you can capture smooth video files. And it does a pretty good job. Um, now, unfortunately, I have not been able to fly uh, this uh, camera today because we have 30 mile an hour winds outside and I don't recommend doing that. But it's very easy to use, it's easy to fly. Like I said, it uses GPS. You can watch what you're doing here. It's got some cool return home features. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm looking forward to using it more for um, both still and video photography. Um, but I just thought I would point out a few little things. If you're going to purchase one of these gimbals, um, there is a bit of a, a, a lag in the order because they just really started ramping up production recently. Um, when you put this guy on, you're going to have to take apart some of the original mounting. And here's the original bracket and single axis servo. So this was the tilt servo that it came. The rotor pixel gimbal mounts into the same it mounts into the same um, housing there, so there's no, no mods necessary. There's only two cables. You'll have to unplug the cable that goes into the back of the Phantom, and then you unplug the um, phone jack cable that comes out of the camera, and that plugs in here as well. Uh, the only issue that I ran into when I was taking this apart um, is there's this little black plastic spacer that comes out of the camera. I had to wiggle the camera to get it to uh, 
unmount from its original, from this mount here. Um, once I did that, um, not too hard. Um, the instructions that Rotorpixel gives uh, are complete, but not illustrated. So I, um, if I were them, I would, I would um, add some illustrations just to make things a little bit easier. But otherwise, it's pretty good. And I look forward to trying to fly uh, this on a day where it's not uh, raging wind. So thanks again. I'll see you next time, hopefully this time with some actual flight videos.